Dr. Margaret Wright is a journalism teacher at Coronado High School and was one of the founders of the Heroes in Training program. Since its beginning, she has supplied student journalists to work in the program and helped coach their writing. Dr. Wright, I'd like to present you with a picture on behalf of the Heroes in Training program. Thank you. A certificate and your Heroes in Training card. Thank you very much. Dr. Wright, the first question I'd like to ask you is, as a teacher, since you uh, really have a strong connection with the youth of America here in Coronado and overall, I'd like to know what you think is important when it comes to heroes and what values should the uh, youth of America be looking to? Well, when I think of a hero, I think of, of a person that, that is, um, has had an experience, perhaps, that, that has changed his or her life and he uses that in a positive fashion. For example, one of uh, our early experiences was with a young woman who had been a, a victim of, a, of a, an automobile accident and it created a tremendous emotional and physical and financial drain on her and her family. And she became a hero to our students because she could relate her experiences as a teenager having gone through all these things uh, to our students, our journalists who then wrote their stories using that as background information. I also think of a hero as one who lives his life uh, in such a way that, that people want to emulate him or her. For example, um, if I had to think of a, of a hero in my own life, it would probably be my dad because he, he was, it wasn't a single episode in our life or a single experience. It was, it was my entire experience with him throughout my life with him. He, he died when I was quite young, but, I, but he was a hero to me. He established values that he expected me to um, address and, and to be part of, and he lived that way. And I think that you know, for us to, to deal with our students today, we must live the life that, that we're expecting them to live. We want them to, to uh, be a, around people and to, uh, that are people who have positive or are positive role models. And I think that that in and of itself becomes heroic. It doesn't have to be a person who has done something great like uh, a John Wayne type thing, but someone who, a, a single mom who works every day and it finds it very difficult to, to meet some of the demands on her, but she still raises her children well. These kinds of things, I think, have to be uh, the experiences that, and, the, and the examples that students will live by. Okay, how valuable do you think the Heroes in Training program is in guiding uh, students and showing them where to find those responsible heroes that they should emulate? Well, I, I think that if a uh, writing assignment or, uh, or an experience of any kind is going to be valuable to the per person that's doing it, he or she must uh, relate to it in a, in a positive fashion. This HEROES program has given us examples, um, not just the one I, I referred to previously, but others, uh, and opportunities for the students to, to use those as role models to uh, become part of their writing. And if, if you can, can feel some of, the, of what that person is, um, that hero is, trying to get across, you can write better. You can, you can express it better if you can adopt some of those ideas to your own thinking. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Wright, You're for being with welcome. us today.